Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel. Wow, the debate just ended. It was it was interesting. It was fun. Uh, okay, so my first reaction I'm going to tell you, and then I'm going to show you this clip from the Joe Biden Paul Ryan debate from eight years ago. And I'm sorry, but in Joe Biden time, that's like two doggy year lifetimes. All right. So first, let's sum up what happened over here with Biden versus Trump in the first round of the debates. Uh, okay, so you got to understand my channel is non-party affiliated. We are the Tea Party Hardy. We support Tea Party ideas of freedom, national support, loving the country. Viva la 1776 revolution. Okay, so we kind of play it straight. So if you only want Trump, 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 or Biden, 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 I, I, it's not what's going to happen here. It's never what happens here. So with that in mind, let's do the introduction. Okay, I thought that America got what it thought it was going to get. Trump was a gigantic bully, and Biden was severely doddering. So if you thought that's what you were going to get, you got both wishes come true. Trump just was like a steamroller, and really, for all the people that said he should uh, go for the juggler and try and screw him up about his uh, Biden's kids, well, he did exactly what he was told to do by the masses. Did it work? Mm, I don't think so. Did Biden show that he was cognizant and ready to go and all fired up? No, no, he was, he was a mess. Constantly reading the cards and just struggling, really struggling. Okay, so there's the overall. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. So my first impression was I was really, I didn't like the way that Trump was so freaking aggressive. And Chris Wallace coming after him. And I'm like, you can't cut his mic because he's the president. But he's really, really, he's really being a jerk. But let's do this. Let's switch from right now. There's what he looks like right now. Let's go back in the time machine eight years. On the good old days, I would have had a theme song for going back in the Wayback Machine, but yeah, we're in the we're in the low budget era now. Anyways, check it out. Let's flash back and listen to what they said about Joe Biden in 2008. It's really interesting when you compare it to what Trump did tonight. It's really interesting. Here we go. Before it's been done. A couple this of one days. got personal. Jack Kennedy lowered tax rates, increased growth. Ronald oh, Reagan. Now you're Jack Kennedy. Barb after Barb. I like know you're under a lot of duress to make up the lost ground. <laughs> The traditional Democrat crackle, cackle, cackle. Yes, have you noticed when Democrats are under pressure, they just cackle. Biden just did it on this one, granted eight years ago. Harris did it when she was on Colbert. Hillary Clinton did it, it's like, it is the, oh, uh, who else did it? Um, Nancy Pelosi does it too. You ask him a really hard question, like, <laughs> it's like, what the frick? No wonder they call you guys the donkeys. You start praying. <laughs> Anyways, listen closely and compare it to what happened tonight with Trump. But I think people will be better served if we don't keep interrupting each other. Ah, so Biden was full of interruptions, was he? Let's find out how many. Well, well don't take all the four minutes then. Biden was often dominant, maybe a little too dominant. So the tables have turned. Republicans claimed he interrupted Ryan 82 times. 82 times, and I think the VP debate is only an hour. But even if it's an hour and a half, 82 times. Look at how different he looks there in eight years. I know we all age, but dude, seriously, that's, am I doing the math right? I am doing the math right. That is, that's a rough eight years, man. That is a rough, rough eight years. But the point being, you, Mr. Man, you went in there. You wouldn't stop freaking cackling at him. You kept interrupting him 82 times is the count. And guess what? Let's see if you can give as uh, let's see if you can get as well as you gave. And no, he really couldn't. And one of the things that's that's really interesting about the difference of Trump steamrolling instead of Biden steamrolling is there wasn't a single moment in tonight's debate where Trump cackled. Trump did not cackle. Did Biden cackle? He did a couple of times. But he looks like this now. He's he's this guy cackling. He, he's Uncle Creepy Joe in the corner. <laughs> It's very different than what we saw over here eight years ago. But isn't it interesting how the worm has turned? 
that him being an obnoxious freaking jerk... Oh, and it's funny, too. The only reason I looked this up is because Martha Raddatz was the one that hosted this. Oh, shit, no, no way. Take one what? None of your business. Okay. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, Martha Raddatz is hosting this. And so I was just reading an interview where Martha Raddatz goes, you know, it was such a civilized time back when Joe Biden debated Paul Ryan. And I'm like, was it? So in her memory of this, there was no 82 interruptions or him being too aggressive. Oh, <laughs> look, there he is there in a flash moment. And there he is in a normal moment. It's like, wow, so there's your preview. He's lost a lot of weight, really has. Look at, it's just eight years, wow. So that's a hard eight years, dude. Seriously, a hard eight years. Anyway, yeah, Martha Raddatz, she's a... These people don't remember anything. Okay, now the other thing I was really, really upset about from Trump was Biden threw the bleach line at him. Wallace and Biden threw the Virginia, the with, with the swastikas and everything, threw that at him. And there were so many examples where Biden threw the flat-out lies and hoaxes at Trump. And please tell me why the Trump campaign doesn't have a YouTube setup with the actual moments where those things were not said to be removed from context. They were not said. Trump never said inject bleach. He never, ever said it. Why wasn't there a moment said ago? Because I've seen it in presidential debates where they do say, if you go to this website, you can actually look up what actually happened. I liked that. That was really helpful and it allows us to be educated. They didn't do it. And so Trump let stand lie after lie after lie. And then you got Biden where Trump's calling Biden out and, Trump, and Biden's like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're, 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 you're lying. You're, you're always lying. It would have been nice to have a website where we could go and just push the button and go, oh, there it is. Here's what you said. And I don't support the, the, the bad guys in Virginia. And he said it over and over and over. Nope, they didn't do it. And it's like, dude, that's foolish. This is really foolish. We are running out of time. And there are lots of people that hate you because they believe flat out lies. And you didn't put the truth on there. And those of us that know, we don't count. We're already going to vote what we're going to vote. You need to put it on there for the people that don't know. And for those poor, duped people that have no clue. And they didn't do it. Lost opportunity. I can't believe it. I really can't. I mean, I understand he's got things going on. Okay, so who won? No, it, no, it was it was terrible. It really was terrible. The constant interruption sucked. I don't care if he was imitating Biden or not. It sucked. Biden, ugh, Biden had nothing to offer. There were some zingers that were really good, but it was... It was so much more of the strategy of get Biden to wobble than actually being a real debate. And it's just like, no, I actually like data. Give me, give America the data to make up our mind. And for Pete's sakes, that includes the data when they're lying about you. That We can go and push the button and go, oh, this is what you really said? Wow, that's entirely different than what they're saying about you. You didn't give us that data. The fact that we know it doesn't matter. We got to get it out there to the people that don't know to actually see the video, to see it in real life, to see the replay. Mm, nope. So mm, we'll see how the next one goes. Maybe, maybe they'll hear this. I don't know. Maybe I'll have a crazy Gary Lamb moment where a little will explode and everybody will hear it. And I'm like, oh, wow, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Leave my little channel alone. Anyway, so that that's... So... He was the big, fat steamroller pig, and he had it thrown in his face a few years later. But, of course, to look at him, it looks like a... What was that line in Indiana Jones? You chose poorly, dude. Wow. Yeah, so this, is, this is the scene of you chose poorly after he drinks from the cup. And it's like, yep, there he goes. Whoosh. Sand. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the debates. Was it Tyson against a baby? It was worse than that. <laughs> it really was so much worse than that. It was like, no, no, at least the babies are cute. It's like, no, it was, you turned him into hamburger, but it was so sad because he was hamburger already. Uh, okay, well, it's, there's so not a slow news like There's so many stories to cover, but, I, you know, I got to get ready for work tomorrow. That's the way that goes. 
but uh, yeah, I'm glad. I'm I'm really glad. And the, 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 he did so many examples where he cut off his nose to save his face. And that was another thing. Trump never said, I didn't shut down the country. The governors did. He never said that either. And I'm like, dude, why are you taking the hit for shutting down the country? All you did was go on TV and say, I think we should shut down for 15 days. If your governors agree, we'll do it. And then Gavin Newsom in California was like, okay, 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 I'll do it. And yeah, it's like he didn't, he never did it. It was all the governors. It's still the governors. Ah, missed opportunities. It's not our job on YouTube to carry your freaking weight, Donald Trump. You can handle it. Get some people in there and do it. We do not want to see this guy win. People say, who are you voting for? I'm like, I'm voting against riots. When Don Trump goes, hey, you can't even say law and order. You can't even say law and order. And that's the other thing. And I've done videos on this too. It's like, you are forcing me to support the cops. That is, that is just not easy. Because I come from the point of view of, and if you watch my video on Breonna Taylor versus Andrew uh, Finch, you will know that I am on the support of no police brutality, no police aggression. And if BLM wouldn't have acted like a bunch of BSers, they would have welcomed people who were for that notion. But nope, they made it into a total racist, Karl Marx, horrible socialist communist thing, and proved that it's like, no, it's, it's not about protecting people from the cops. It's about protecting, it's about protecting black people from white cops, and that's it. They don't care if it's black on black. They don't care if it's Mexican on black. They don't care if it's Chinese on Mexican on black. It's like whatever way you want to jumble the Rubik's Cube of, of American human beings. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't like... My solution to the cops comes down to this, and it's terrible because, like, it's never going to happen. My, my, my reform would be you have to treat cops like American citizens. No special privileges for cops. They are held to the exact same laws that they enforce. Problem solved. It really is. All of these issues would be solved. You can't do things that other people can do. You can't run through the frickin' red lights so you can get to your donut. You can't never use a blinker. You can't, uh, uh, you can't speed when you're writing tickets for speeding, you, no, they have, you can't text and drive. Oh, I've seen all of it. And you have too, if you've been around on the, on the roads. Yeah, that's my problem. That's, that's my solution to the problem. All right, this video has gone way too long. I have to get started on those lesson plans. We hope you have a lovely night and we will see you in the future. Or as Biden would say, uh,